Okay, y'all, so I'm gonna get off this couch looking crusty and busted. Um, what even time is it? Um, it is 4.41. Um, so today, I've actually been quite productive in my pajamas. Um, I finished editing a video, which if you are not following me and are my friend on Facebook, you really should do that. It's where I am the most active on social media, but I'm also going to be back regular posting on YouTube. <laughs> so excited. So I edited the vlog that went on Facebook and I started the vlog that you guys have seen on YouTube, my birthday vlog. If you haven't, make sure to check that out. Um, but now it's a Saturday and although I've been semi-productive, I still need to be even more productive because I'm still recovering from my birthday. Literally, shamefully must admit, every single one of my birthday presents, plus some stuff I bought myself, are just kind of like hanging out. <laughs> I got my shoes everywhere. I got my lunch everywhere, blankets everywhere. Uh, ah, trash everywhere, where well, it's not everywhere. It is contained, but I need to take out the trash. Um, I did, however, clean up the kitchen. I need to clean out the sink, but I mean, the dishes are done. I need to mop my floor because it's been a little while since I've done that. And y'all, y'all, I'm just gonna give you a little bit. Just, <laughs> just a little bit. I need to do laundry. So I have a lot still left to do. Um, I just kind of need to get my apartment together. Sunday is the day that I worship the Lord Almighty. And I try not to do too much on that day, especially if I don't have another day off during the week. I really try to, especially right now while we're virtual, because when we're actually in the building, it'd be too much going on to, to consider, 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 consider Sunday a Sabbath day. But tomorrow it shall be so today we're just going to get everything done so i want to take you guys along with me for my productive saturday first thing we need to do is get in the shower brush our teeth and then we're going to start cleaning up let's go <laughs> okay we're back so i'm all showered up and ready to go so i'm gonna get started busting some of this stuff out I've kind of already got started on the laundry. So I am a big to-do list type person. So I made this this morning during my prayer and meditation time um, of things that I need to do. Living room, trash, fridge, floor, closet, bedroom. Mm, it's got like little asterisks there. So if we can do it, we can. All laundry and I have a ton, a ton, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. <laughs> a ton, a ton of blankets from when um, my peoples came to visit me. So I need to wash all of those blankets because I love to have clean blankets whenever anyone comes into town. So I need to get started on that. But what else is on here? Ooh, I got some stuff. I got some stuff I can check off. So I did already edit this video and I did already upload that today. This is stuff for me to do tomorrow. Um, but let's get started. Uh, where do I want to get started at? Think with the laundry. Let's go ahead and pop one of these loads in the washing machine. going and while that was going I noticed some things I need to wipe off this laundry thing because it's a little bit dirty so I'm just gonna grab a Clorox wipe and get to wiping Okay, 
okay guys so we have that done i'm gonna move on to the bathroom um and just kind of get started in here because as you see it's really not that dirty honestly truly but i like to wipe off the surfaces i already got the bathtub started with a little bit of comet um so we're gonna get that all cleaned up but let's get started with the wipe down of this If a man remains in me, and I in him, he will bear much fruit. John 15 and 5. So true, so true. John 14 and 12. I wear these little pins on jackets and stuff like that. So this is just like my hair accessory, loose change, lighter. I have a candle in here, but I'm switching out my spring summer decor. So I need to get me new candles to represent summer pre-fall transition. So TBD. And of course, for my people, Black Lives Matter. Always! Oh, and this little thing that I keep my toothbrush in says, Spirit, lead me where my trust is without borders. So every day when I go to brush my teeth, I say, Spirit, lead me where my trust is without borders. Let me walk by your water. All right, y'all, so this is kind of like my hair drawer, which I do need to go in here and organize and clean this out of all this just random stuff. This is actually my hair moisturizer from Lush. And these come in like these little wrapped containers like that. But I find if you leave them in the brown paper bag, the oils don't seep out. So I'm gonna go in and organize these drawers. This is all my skin hair and the little bit of makeup that i actually wear is inside these drawers so let me get started on this Okay guys, so I cleaned out the bathroom, wiped down the tub and the toilet. Now we're gonna take all the trash and we're just gonna condense it because <laughs> all of this needs to go out. So boom, bathroom's done. Okay, where are we at on our list? Oh my God, the bathroom wasn't even on there. Let's add it. Alrighty, let's go. Let's go here. I try to clean out my fridge often because you don't want expired, old, 
crusty dusty moldy food inside of there so if I'm not gonna eat it um, I really try to just get rid of it instead of leaving it there to just kind of rot um, so that's what you see me doing here now After I finish the dishes, I love to go in and clean my sink. So I spread it down with a little bit of bleach and I wash it off. You know the rag gets dirty, so it also gets sprayed with bleach and I just let the bleach sit and let it hang dry. My cabinets are white, so they also get sprayed with bleach and I wipe them down because you won't believe what type of stains and debris and just whatever ends up on your white cabinet. Now I gotta get started on all of this stuff, but I have to find a place to put everything. I don't wanna do it! No! decor and bags that I'm gonna keep um, my mom gave me this and I think it'll be cute when I have virtual dance class um, and then this is a new blanket I just got for my birthday and I'm gonna wash it so it'll be ready to go because it's supposed to be for the couch so I feel accomplished let's get these in the respectable places 
clean up this shoe area, sweep and mop the floor, and we'll reconvene after that. All right. All alone in a room, but you're not laying next to me. Next to me. We get close. When we're close, just ain't enough for what we need. Yeah, what we need. Ooh. I know that it feels so dangerous. It takes a little risk to get to us. I know. I know. in the kitchen and then this is all the trash that I have amassed that will go out soon okay shout out to granny Ruby because all three of those bags went into this really big bag that she gave me so I'm about to head out to the trash and drop this off so these are the cleaned floors Everything's all organized. This space is back to normal. My counter would be clean, except for I stopped at the mailbox. Uh, September issue of Vogue. Interesting. I also got this little gift, late birthday gift, early birthday gift, on time birthday gift from my bestie. Everything looks good. I am impressed. Pretty, pretty snazzy. Nice. Mm, okay. Well, thank you guys for having a productive Saturday with me. I think we got everything on the list done. Let's check and see. Alrighty. We did the floors. Living room. Trash. I am currently doing the laundry and then I'm going to do the blankets. Got all of that done. This is going to have to be for another day. Because my bedroom is clean, but that closet, Jesus, whoa. We'll save that. But I got everything done on my list. And now I'm about to open my birthday gift from my bestie. Thank you so much, Karen. And chill out. Chill out. And chill out. There are a couple of videos from Dr. A.R. Bernard that I want to watch about spiritual warfare. So I'm probably going to watch those. Um, as well as I might just, you know, see what's on YouTube because I love watching YouTube. But I love y'all. Have a great day. Thank you for having a productive Saturday with me. We are getting ready for the Sabbath day. We're in preparation. And if you don't know what the Sabbath day is, pause. The Sabbath day is a biblical principle that God mirrored himself by having a day of rest. He also passed down the law of that through Moses saying, remember the Sabbath day and keep it holy. Six days shall a man work and on the seventh day he shall rest. When Jesus came on the scene, he said that the Sabbath was made for man and not man for the Sabbath. And he was healing people in the synagogues on the Sabbath, upside down kingdom. So we tried to mirror, mimic, abide by that, by at least having a day where we set aside to honor, reverence God, our Father, Jesus, the Christ, our Savior, and the Holy Spirit who lives inside of us. Um, Jesus came to free us from the law, but there is something about that law that just keeps you in righteousness and holiness and in the design that God intended you to be in. So I really try to have a Sabbath day every week. It doesn't always fall on a Sunday. Sometimes it's on a Tuesday because I'm off work on a Tuesday and I don't do anything. Sometimes it's a Thursday. It doesn't matter the day, but I try to give my body, my spirit, my soul a day of rest and just communion with God. 
So since tomorrow is gonna be that day with me, and it just happens to be Sunday, I wanted to get all of my chores, work done today. So I don't have to think about it tomorrow. So y'all have a beautiful, blessed evening, and I'll see you on the flip side. Yeah.